Now, some may say that two probes are better than one. The Justice Department now renewing an investigation into the Clinton Foundation for alleged pay-to-play politics done then by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. This coming amid the Justice Department reportedly reopening the investigation into the email server and more specifically how Hillary Clinton and her aides handled classified materials. After 18 classified emails were found on former Congressman Anthony Weiner's laptop, remember uh, he was the husband of one of Clinton's top aides, in this case, Uma Abedin. With me now to discuss Ned Ryan, American Majority CEO and former Bush 43 presidential writer, Adriana Cohn, a Boston Herald radio host and syndicated columnist, and Sarah Carter, an investigative reporter. Adriana, you wrote a piece of couple of days ago about the deep state. Uh, it, it feels like, you know, all of this stuff is, it, it, a lot of it revolves around the intelligence community. And, 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 and on both sides, by the way, it's a bipartisan effort to keep their power and to push back, in this case, <clears throat> against President Trump. But what they also did to protect Hillary Clinton, possibly. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, if we look at what happened with the email investigation, it was clearly a sham investigation. As you know, Charles, the FBI exonerated Hillary Clinton before even interviewing over 15 key witnesses, including Hillary Clinton herself. Uh, you know, they watered down language to benefit her. Uh, they gave out um, immunity deals like candy to all of her associates, and they didn't hold her or any of her associates accountable for obstruction of justice. They destroyed evidence that was under subpoena, whether that was 33,000 deleted emails, that was hammers to a devices, they lost, supposedly lost laptops, they bleach bit servers. I mean, the criminality went on uh, that so to such a great extent, uh, it's just uh, astounding right. that the FBI would not find anyone, not even one of Hillary Clinton's associates, guilty of anything. And uh, clearly, um, I believe strongly that there was uh, collusion and meddling in our 2016 election by these deep state type of uh, FBI and, and agents in the DOJ to, let me, let me to bring, benefit Hillary Clinton. No, there's no doubt about that. But also, Sarah, you've been on top of this Russian probe. I mean, I love your pieces. The most recent 18 thoughts on Mullet's Pitbull, Andrew Weissman. <laughs> I mean, finally, you know, they finally hit the midnight deadline and they give Nunes, they, they finally give him the documents they should have given to him a long time ago. Do you think now perhaps they'll be able to break this open? Because it's obvious that deep state resistance on this Russian probe has been an embarrassment. Embarrassment. Well, I think this is just the beginning. I think what they're going to do is, particularly the House Intelligence Committee, is going to get all of this information. And like you said, Andrew Weissman is now on the hot seat. And he is the most important right now in the special counsel. He is considered Mueller's pit bull. But, you know, he was the same man who then supported Sally Yates when she defied the president's travel ban order in January, which was the reason why she was fired. And I think there's a lot more to be discovered here. I was just talking to people on the Hill who told me this is just the beginning. There is a lot more information, not just Peter Strzok and Lisa Page's text messages, but more and more information is coming forward about other people within the FBI, and this is within the FBI's higher echelons that insulated Clinton and insulated themselves and really politicized the FBI, which is, which is something that, let me just take a step back here, the Bureau and the agents that are working hard every day, right. this is something that they are not accustomed to, right. they don't want, and they want to see something done. Yeah, we always have to be careful not to disparage them as opposed to the leadership and those key folks in that, 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 that were in charge of these investigations that obviously had very strong bias, uh, you know, political bias against <laughs> Donald Trump, then candidate Trump, and, and now have to also account for perhaps some, some, some poor investigations or lack of investigations on Hillary Clinton going back many years. Yeah, absolutely. Well, not only that. Oh, well, I was just going to make a that, quick point. Ned, Ned, and I'll come back to you, sir. Not, not, not only that, Charles, but I think the thing that's been really interesting in the last 48 hours as this whole Clinton email server is starting to spin up again, there have been some major breakthroughs on the Fusion GPS front. And I think kind of lost in some of this news, you know, the House Intelligence Committee has subpoenaed Fusion's uh, GPS's bank records. And now the judge, as of yesterday, said the House gets all of, the House Intelligence Committee can have access to all those bank records, and now we can actually figure out, Charles, who Fusion GPS was paying media companies, journalists, and mm -hmm. business to spread their propaganda. Yeah. And the thing that's interesting, the question that has to be answered, Charles, there's two questions. Devin Nunez and Chuck Grassley and Lindsey Graham, the big question is, was a piece of partisan propaganda used as justification to spy on U.S. citizens. And we actually know 
that because of the leaks of the deep state and the opposition party willing to use those leaks, CNN reported in April of 2017 that in fact the FBI was using a dossier as justification to spy on Trump associates. Right. And to break it down for your viewers, they were using that Fusion GPS dossier to apply for a FISA warrant to spy on Carter Page. This is scary stuff, Charles. And the other thing that I will add about this dossier, I think the question that needs to be answered is if this partisan piece of propaganda was used by the FBI to spin up the entire Trump Russia investigation, I think it calls into question the entire legitimacy of the Mueller investigation and calls there into question always, how much longer that investigation yeah. should last. There will always be questions about that. And, and even to this day, I don't think the FBI has said that or acknowledged that they even think that it is real. Uh, folks, I wanted to come back to you, but I've got some breaking news I've got to share with the audience. Great stuff. But we do have breaking news on the digital currency.